Hello, beautiful people of the internet. What's up? It's your girl, Keisha. The Ordinary sent over their latest hair care line, and I tried it out on my type for hair to really see if it is natural hair friendly. Be sure to subscribe, follow me on TikTok and Instagram, and let's get started with the review. Okay. So I just unloosed my hair from Bantu Knots and I kind of wanted to do a before and after so I could see, you know, kind of what my hair feels like before and what it feels like after. It's a better comparison. This is literally how I style my hair pretty much all the time now. Um, it is just that I left this in for much, much longer. So it actually looks a lot curlier than it usually does. Before I wash my hair, I am going to detangle as I usually do. So I'm using the Salon Selective's Instant Repair Leave-In Conditioner. In terms of actually styling my hair and and kind of what I use to get it in the Bantu knots. I'm gonna be using the exact same products that I usually use. This is shea butter that I whipped up, as well as the TGIN Sweet Honey Hair Milk. Along with the shampoo and conditioner, they sent along two additional products for your scalp. Now the instructions do say to put it on while your hair is dry, so I'm gonna be using this tomorrow morning. More on these two tomorrow morning, but for now, we are gonna get started with the Sulfate 4% Cleanser for body and hair, as well as the Behentrimonium Chloride. 2% conditioner. Neither of them have a smell. Very clean. I like that. As for the consistency, so first we have the shampoo, which I'm loving that this is both for your body and your hair because a lot of people that have body acne, myself included, some of it can be caused by the conditioner and the shampoo that you're using that maybe you're not washing off properly. So these are both designed with your skin and hair in mind. I think that's really cool. That feels very watery. Very few ingredients in here, so, but it does have sulfates. Very gentle sulfates. We'll see how that goes. In terms of the conditioner, I am the most nervous about this one because usually I use very thick conditioners on my hair. Let's get into the texture. This one's definitely a thicker consistency than the shampoo. It actually feels quite moisturizing. And the smell has a very natural, like, buttery scent. Oh, I like that. I actually like that. It says it's lightweight, but it feels really smooth on your hands. Here we are starting out by detangling my hair. I've got a spray bottle and some water just to loosen up the curls and make it easier to comb through. Then I saturate my hair with a conditioner and use a detangling brush to rake through my hair to get rid of the knots, the tangles, and some of the shedded hair as well. I twist them up in sections and do this all around my head before hopping in the shower. Here we are in the shower. I'm just wetting my hair thoroughly with some warm water. I do have low porosity hair, so I have to take some time to really thoroughly wet it before going in with my shampoo. I section my hair into four sections whenever I'm in the shower and clip them with my little clips there. Going in with the conditioner. It has a very light texture as I mentioned before, not too much suds. It didn't seem very eventful. <laughs> I wasn't exactly sure where to place the shampoo at this point. It just felt like a light shampoo. Wasn't really sure how to feel about this using it for the first time as you can see from the expressions on my face but it was rinsing out quite nicely and my hair shrunk up a lot so you know that my hair was extremely hydrated shampooing for the second time as you can see because my hair is more wet there's a lot more suds i don't know about you but i personally do like to see suds because it feels like to me that my hair is actually being cleansed i actually did not use a lot of cleanser this time and it suds it up very well here I am rinsing it out and immediately I felt my hair really, really dry. I cannot hide my expressions in my face. It was really, really dry, girl. Oh, I could feel and hear the shrieking that my hair was doing. And even right now, just watching back at the footage, oh, I feel very uncomfortable. Because it was so dry, I was kind of scared to section my hair, but here I am taking one for the team. Moving on to the conditioner. I assumed I would need a lot of it, so I poured a lot into my hands and was pleasantly surprised at how moisturizing it was. My fingers were just gliding through this conditioner and my hair was feeling super moisturized. With a conditioner, you definitely do not need to use a lot because it works 
quite quickly. Rinsing it out, I was once again shocked by how wonderful it felt in my hair. I really was not expecting this because the consistency is quite light, but I was really enjoying how my hair was feeling after this. It had felt as though I used my regular thick conditioner, and this one isn't barely that thick at all. Now out of the shower, I'm just releasing my parts and putting in that leave-in conditioner that I mentioned before, smoothing it down my hair shaft with the praying hands method, and then going in section by section with my shea butter to actually twist my hair and put it in its bantu shape. So it is actually two days later because the days just seem to blur together these days. It's actually nighttime as well because looking at the instructions, they do advise to do this before bedtime. So we're going to start off with the Natural Moisturizing Factors plus HA, which is their lightweight hydrating serum for the scalp. It has more of a milky consistency. It is extremely runny. Like it literally looks like milk. Specifically, it kind of looks like breast milk to be honest. No scent, of course. I'm putting this in the parts of my hair. Just like that. And that's why I love when my hair is like this, because you can actually get to the roots, get to the parts. The dropper is very long, which makes it easy to get under here too, under the little twists. And you put a couple drops underneath, just like that. So that is fully distributed into my hair. And honestly, it doesn't feel tingly. There's nothing in here that's gonna tingle your scalp. It just feels refreshing, to be honest. Not quite sure if you're supposed to use them together, but I'm gonna be doing so anyways. So we have the multi-peptide serum for hair density. And I do have a little bit of sparseness around my hairline. So density is 100% what I'm looking for, especially here. This one has, once again, that same runny consistency. The nozzle is slightly different though. It's more of like their regular um, dropper bottles with the round tip rather than a slim tip. Same deal, except this one is clear. And massage. I don't know about you, but I actually hate massaging my hair. I think it takes way too long and my arms always hurt. So I stumbled across this electronic head massager. This one is from Comifer, I believe is the name of it. I got this one quite a while ago and I started using it to massage my hair when I have it in twists and natural protective cells like this. It has these little cute little fingers at the bottom that kind of makes it look like a little animal, like a little monster, your friend. It's very easy to use. You just use a USB port and charge it and then it has like this home base to charge. These little legs actually pop off, which make it easy to wash. You just kind of soak it in some water and then put it back on. So I try to wash it like once a week or so because I do like to massage quite often. It has two speeds. So the on button here at the back, you press that and they start moving. Cute, huh? And then if you press it one more time, it goes slightly faster. So as you can see, the little legs turn clockwise as well as counterclockwise to just give you a full massage. And what I love about this is that most massages just kind of rubs against your skin or against your scalp, I should say. But this one specifically, you can actually see it kneading your scalp. Like it's moving your scalp in the way that your hands would if you were to massage. And I go all around my head for about 15 minutes. Here I am the next morning unloosing my twists and I'm making sure to go very slowly as to not break off my hair or get in any tangles or knots. Once it's done, I picked out my afro and it looks really good. It was really moisturized. I think this was the best Bantu out that I've ever done. I'm very pleased with how this turned out. This is what my hair looks like after five days. My scalp was a little bit oily and it has some dry flakes as well. But now, six months later, this is my hair five days after washing my hair. My scalp is clean, it's healthy. My hair at the roots is a little bit thicker than it was before and I can see that in my new growth. I always use some oil to help me unloose my twists because it helps it glide and not create any frizz. 
I can definitely say that it looks a lot thicker. It also looks a lot bigger than it was before. So it has grown, I would say around two inches since I started using these hair um, serums. So of course I was still using the conditioner. I think it's really buttery. I think it's so just like wonderful on your hair and it melts the, like the product just melts and glides into your hair. It is such a beautiful emulsion. Not gonna lie, I have not been using the shampoo because it's just not for me. <laughs> Instead, I've been using the one from Shea Moisture. This is the, I think the castor. I poured it out into this bottle. Um, I think it's the castor one. Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil. I think so the one that's brown <laughs> I've been using that one and oh my god like look at my hair like look at my hair my hair is always really really thin but you can't see through my curls anymore I'm super excited about that because I've always had really see-through hair now I can actually wear an afro my hair is a lot thicker it is a lot stronger as well and I would also say that in the front of my hair that's kind of where my hair has been thinning in a sense it has thickened up quite a lot this hair at the front is usually quite short it is growing a little bit and we are loving that so this definitely definitely works so that's the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it leave a comment down below and let me know if you've tried these products from the ordinary before i would love to hear your thoughts go ahead and click over here to see some of my previous videos and as always stay gorgeous stay fabulous and i'll see you lovely ladies and gents in my next video bye